Good morning, my friends, and welcome to Daily Dose of Inspiration. Sometimes I ask people, if you were to be given a choice, that at the end of your life, you're on your deathbed, these are the final days of your life, you could either have $100 million cash in the bank, but have no family, no friends, no one who loves you, no one who cares about you, or not to have any of the money, but to be surrounded by family, friends, people that love you deeply, people who really care about you. And I think the answer is quite obvious. And it's sometimes a stark reminder that yes, it's important to have those finances and it's nice to have the material wealth, but where should our focus be? What should the priority in our lives be? Where should we invest our greatest efforts? And of course, those should be in our family and friends. And it's interesting that today we read about the Jewish people becoming a nation as they're leaving Egypt. And God says that they should celebrate this occasion of becoming a nation, of nationhood. And you would expect <clears throat> that this celebration should be a national gathering, a rally, some kind of gathering, mass gathering of the Jewish people. But God says, no, the way to celebrate Passover, the way to celebrate the beginning of Jewish nationhood is each family at their own Seder, each family on their own. Because what makes us a people, what makes us strong, the secret of Jewish survival as a nation has been the strength of the family unit. This is what makes us strong. It's true in America today as well. What makes this country strong is each of our family units. And I think that this is a very important time during COVID. We've had this eight months, nine months to really remember what it, the important things in life, especially family, the importance of the people around us. And ultimately, this is what life is about, is our own home and our own family. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.